2012 BMW 528 AC condenser replacement. I'm Brian Essick from How To Automotive. I'm gonna walk you through the steps of replacing it. So the first steps in doing this job is to remove the Freon from the car. So you're gonna hook your AC machine up and uh, suck it down. I already did it off camera. So um, th from this point on is on how to remove the condenser and install the condenser. So I'm gonna get started by removing the strut braces here and here. So remove the, the four bolts holding those on. So after getting the strut braces off, I'm gonna work on removing these plastic panels that go from on, on, on the driver side and on the passenger side. So you're gonna remove these panels by removing the clips. Every couple of inches there's a clip. So there will also be a couple of clips underneath this molding. So you have to like, pop the molding off and then there'll be some clips underneath here. And you're gonna do that for both sides. So you're gonna pop the molding up. I just use my fingers like this and pop it up and then remove the clips here clips follow the clips around and just keep removing the clips until the whole panel pops up so I just kept removing the clips until uh, the panel was free and I left the moldings on it like that and I'm just gonna flip it up up here on the engine bay like that and just leave it there and I'll do the same for the uh, driver side here now that both sides uh, covers are off I'm gonna remove this uh, metal bracket right here so I'm gonna start with the uh, Torx bolt here here and then I'm going to remove the torques here and on the opposite side here and then remove the 13 millimeter bolts here. And you're also going to remove the torque bolt here too. After getting all the bolts out you pop it up and then underneath you're going to pop this the cable here that goes to the latches. The hood latches you just pop them out a little like that and you can set this aside. Now you can go ahead and remove the two bolts here in here and take this uh, core support bracing out. So after removing the screw here, here, and folding this cover back and you get the, the torque screw here, and you fold the screw the cover back and you get the torque screw here. You can also pry the radiator and the condenser as a little bit of movement. So you can push it forward to get to these bolts. You remove those torques. And then on the AC condenser fan here, you're going to remove the torque here. And this portion of the, uh, kind of kind of has like a hook, like this is hooked over this cover. So you're going to lift up on the fan shroud a little bit and then pull the fan shroud in like this to clear the cover here. And then you can pull this cover off. So then you'll lift this cover kind of up, straight, straight up like this. And you'll unhook it here too. And you can also, once you get it out on this side, on the passenger side here, you can kind of twist this a little bit to help get it out from underneath here. And then you pull the whole cover off. Now I'm going to take the Allen screw out of here uh, that holds the line on. And once the, I get that line off, uh, Allen screw out, I'm going to pop this line off. And then underneath it will be another hose of an Allen screw just like this one. We'll take that Allen screw off and pop the other hose off. And I just used a, a long extension and a quarter inch ratchet to do that. So after getting the first hose off, I'm just going to push it back right here and just leave, let it rest over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the second hose. Now that the hoses are off, you can grab the condenser and work and lift it straight out of the car. Before you reinstall your new condenser, I recommend that you change the o-ring on the two hoses here. So after matching up your uh, new condenser, uh, make sure the fittings are facing this way and you're going to slide it back into position. So you have to slide it straight down into the car. So it's going to go on the this side of the intercooler here. So once it's slid down into place, now you can uh, change out your O-rings and put your hoses back on and put the Allen screws back in and tighten them up. Now that the condenser is mounted back in and the uh, lines are restarted, we're going to go ahead and put this plastic cover back on. So you're just going to slide it back into position. And basically I like to start this side here first. And you have to kind of maneuver the... Uh, the molding here out of the way then you swing this after getting this side kind of tucked in there now on the driver's side you'll do the same thing you kind of pull the molding out of the way and kind of tuck it under once you get it down then you can kind of flare the fan out like this and kind of pull it over the lip and re-secure here and do the same thing on this side too now that the cover is back on and the fan is back into position 
go ahead and start the bolt for the fan and tighten it up the torque bolt there and then you start the torque bolt for the cover here here and then you pull the moldings back and you'll start the torque bolts here and here so after uh securing the plastic cover here now i'm going to put the core support brace back on and we're going to start the bolts but leave them loose we'll tighten them up in, a, in after we get more things attached to it so now we're going to take this little metal bracket here and uh we're going to resecure our cable we're going to clip them back into the little catches here and then, and then uh roll up the rubber grommets the plastic little uh nipples here that go into these rubber grommets here so we'll resecure the cable like this and then right here is a little stud so we're going to have to line it up with this so you kind of hold it at an angle and rotate it in and you leave everything loose that way you have enough play and maneuver uh play to uh start all your bolts and stuff and line everything up and now you're going to kind of look underneath and you're going to uh, line up the uh rubber grommets with the little nipples here and then push it down into place and this stud lines up not on this one here but on the one to the right of it right there so we'll line that stud up now you can go ahead and start all of the 13 millimeter bolts in the front of this cover here and now you can start the torque bolt here in the front leave everything loose still so what we have room to move things around to line everything up next you'll start the two torque bolts here and you install the torque bolts there one on the latches here and here and once you get all those attached now you can put on these little strut braces right here and once you got all the bolts tightened or uh, installed now you can go back through and tighten them all up so now that the uh, all the brackets are, t are tightened down I'm going to uh, install the uh, plastic covers that went on the left and right side here so I'll, I'll just flip them back over and then uh, restart the clips so once you get all the uh, the clips installed the last part would be to uh, just put the moldings back on then they just push back on with your finger just snap them back on okay now that you got all the covers back on now you're ready to uh, recharge your air your AC system and after you charge it up that'll complete the job of replacing their uh, AC condenser on a 2012 BMW 528i I'm Brian Essek from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. I encourage you to subscribe. I invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. I also put a link in the description of uh, any of the parts and tools that you may need in this job. So make sure you check that out. And also I have a tools and product page on the website to, uh, for any other automotive needs you may have. Thank you again for watching.